Music is like this invisible thread through every person and every moment. People know if it's right and people feel it if it's wrong. I feel really lucky that I get to do this job. Music has been a, the most important part of my life. It's helped me through a lot of emotional challenges and being able to make a living with music at the center of my life is kind of a dream. That was always my dream. I remember the first time I took the hearing test in the nurse's office when I was five. And then I remember I had to go to a hospital where I took a much more complicated hearing test. And they close the door and it's like silent. You really hear nothing. I just remember knowing that this was not normal. Like I, I was pretty sure that not every child in my class was being taken out of school to go have their hearing checked. What I learned through that process was that I had hearing loss in the range of human speech. And if you're not going to be able to hear anything, that's probably the worst thing to not be able to hear. School and life was a place where I would sometimes miss things, or I would have to sit in the front of the classroom, or I miss the instructions. And as I got older, going to parties or being out was always a struggle, always. I knew if I was going to a restaurant or if I was going to a party that I knew I would miss things. And I think that I escaped into music because it was like weirdly a place where I could hear everything that was happening. And I think that becoming the DJ at the party gave me like a place where I could bring this experience of my musical knowledge to people without having to deal with that struggle. Not being able to understand what people are saying, especially people close to you, is incredibly isolating and depressing, to be truthful. And wearing hearing aids has allowed me to stay closer to people, to my friends, to my clients, especially to my family and my kid. It's a tool that's helped me stay connected. That's a big deal. So I just got the Gian Resound Omnia hearing aids, they're brand new. They have a sound boost in the range of human speech, which for me, you can imagine, is exactly what I need. They're like sleeker and skinnier and more comfortable. Fit is like an important part of wearing hearing aids and these fit very well and they feel more comfortable. I've noticed myself wearing these more often than the first hearing aids I've had. Yes. Oh, I love it. I resisted the idea of getting hearing aids for so long because I was afraid of what other people would think. That they would think I couldn't be a DJ, I couldn't be a musician if I couldn't hear perfectly. And then I became successful at my job. And I was like, oh, as it turns out, I can be a musician and a DJ and on the radio and successful even with my hearing loss. So I'm gonna not let my fear of what other people think of me determine the type of action I'm gonna take to like take care of my own self. And really, I wanted to show my kid that. I wanted to like be an example that, you know, everybody has something. Whatever you have that's different about you, just like lean into it. And I got hearing aids. And I was like, I could do this in a way where, where I'm embarrassed about it or, or whatever, or I could just like rock this and make this my thing. Having hearing aids has had a very profound impact on my life, particularly with how I relate to my kid. And so I'm really grateful that I am alive at a time when hearing aids exist. Oh,